Welcome to another edition of Pastor Kumui's Illustrations. What a wonderful thing it will be just to stay by their side. Even if it's just to carry their sandals or just to clean their sandals for them. Just to see them. Just to see them. Just to see them. If it were possible, just to be a messenger in the house of Job. Just to clean his surrounding. And just to look at the face of Job. When somebody came and said, we were in the field. And then there was a fire from the sky. The fellow said from heaven. And the fire burnt up all the field and all your animals. What it will be for you. For you not to go and preach, not to go and witness, not to go and pray, not to go and counsel, not to, uh, just to stay in the compound, in the yard, in the house of Job. And while that one was finishing, somebody ran in and said, the serpents came and stole everything, killed all the servants. I am the only one remaining to tell you the bad news. If you were there, and just as he was finishing, somebody came and said, Job, how can I tell you this? Your children were having fellowship in the house, and a mighty wind blew, blew upon the house, destroyed the house. All those beautiful daughters and handsome boys, they are killed. All in one day, having all the information coming unto you, coming, coming, like a barrage. Property lost, servants lost, children lost. And then, for you to be there, and see the reaction, and see the response, and see that man quietly go to the praying corner, and lift up his eyes unto the Lord. The Lord has given. The Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And see him, instead of cursing God, instead of crying, Still singing to the Lord, all to the Lord I surrender, all to Him I freely give. I will ever love and adore Him. I surrender all. No servants, no property, no children. And the people came and accused Him. You must be a big, great sinner. You are a hypocrite. Then he said, He knows the way that I take. And I know that my Redeemer lived. He saved me. He redeemed me. I know I'm born again. I don't understand why all these things perished in one day. But he understands. He understands. And when he has tried me like gold, I will come forth pure, perfect. I will these my very eyes. I will see him. I will see him on that day. Not another, but I will see him. For you to be in the compound of Job at that time, and then for you to look at yourself that you lost a little job and you lost a little accommodation. And you couldn't get a wife in time. Or you got a wife and the wife will not read the Bible. And the wife will not follow the Lord. And because of that, nobody knows the things I face. It's not an easy road. No, no. It's not an easy road. What happened to you? Go and visit Job. And Daniel. 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 This Daniel, an angel came from heaven. It's in chapter 9, chapter 10, don't I'll tell you. When the angel came to Daniel, the angel <laughs> looked at Daniel. And he said, Oh, Daniel, a man greatly favored of the Lord. Check your Bible. Nobody, nobody, nobody has been addressed like that. By an angel coming from heaven. Three times, chapter 9, once, chapter 10, two times. A man greatly beloved. And this man just worship the Lord, just follow the Lord. And they said, if anybody will pray to any God, anywhere, these 
30 days, he'll be thrown into the den of lions. And Daniel knew that the decree had been signed. And he knew the decree of the Middle Persians. It's a law that cannot be reversed. Once they signed it, that's it. Over. And Daniel, after knowing that the thing was signed, 30 minutes break, it will not hurt some people. In fact, there are many methods of praying. You can be walking on the road with your eyes open and you can be communing with God. Use method. And you can be doing any other service and then opening your mouth and opening something to the Lord. He understands you here. You can pray that way. At least avoid dying in the lion's den. But Daniel, his own faith, his own commitment, his own consecration, his own holiness didn't have any worldly method in it. And he went to his house as he did a fourth time. And he opened the windows of his house. That's what he always did. Because of the prayer of Solomon, Lord, if your people sin against you and they are carried to captivity, and in that land of captivity, if they will turn towards this temple, Jerusalem, and pray, hear them. That's what Daniel was doing. He opened his windows and he turned towards Jerusalem and he prayed a four times. While he was praying, the people were outside. Ah, we have seen him. We have seen him. We caught him today. You will not escape this one. The law of the middle passions has caught you today. The thing cannot be revived. You are in for it. Lions then, you will get there today. And quietly and systematically and slowly, he continued his prayer until he read the final psalm that the Israelites will read and then said, Amen, Jehovah is God. And it came out. As it was coming out, they were ready with handcuffs. And they caught him. And then, they took him to the lion's den. He got to the lion's den, not knowing what will happen. As he entered, they dropped him there. And when those lions saw a holy man, they lost their hunger. They lost their ferocious, wild characteristic. All of them, you don't understand, it's a millennium that God gave him right there. You don't know that God made the rapture for Enoch before his time. And then for Daniel, he gave him the millennium before his time. When the sheep and the lion will be together. And the lions will not be able to hurt the sheep. He said, Daniel, you are the most honored, preferred person I know on earth. The millennium is still thousands of years away. I'll give you the millennium right there. Go there. And he slept all the night. And the king could not sleep. The king woke up in the morning. And he said, Daniel, even the king knew, servant of the most high God, is your God, whom you serve continually. Let me stop for a moment. You people, there is no witch that can touch a holy man. What we need is not knowing how to pray the prayer of deliverance. What we need is holiness. Show me the witch. Show me the wizard. Show me the lion that is going up and down, to and fro in the earth that can touch a holy man. Show me the demons, the legions of demons from the pit of hell that can touch, that can cut short that can take a minute, a day, out of the life of an holy man. That demon, that Satan has not existed. When they drop this man, holiness, holiness makes a fence around you. Holiness, holiness makes you a favorite of heaven. Holiness, holiness brings you you're on the side of the angels to stay in the same place. Holiness, holiness makes prayers to be answered before you open your mouth to even pray the prayer. And, uh, you know, 
servant of the most high God is your God whom you serve continually able to deliver you from the lions and I get the voice holiness is good holiness is good when you get to that place when God touches your heart when God purifies your heart when God cleanses your, your very motive when God turns you to be another man when you are walking as if you are walking on the air when your head, your mind, your thoughts is all holiness unto the Lord you don't know there are even witches in the world you don't know that there are even evil people in the world and Daniel, he answered, he said O king, live forever that's what he always told them my God has sent his angels and closed the mouth of the lion and they have not been able to hurt me because before you O king and before him my God I have not done anything 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 before you external before God internal I have not done anything that's so sweet and the king was so glad and happy and he commanded they should bring Daniel up and those lions they had never seen any visitor like that before that or since that time and you can see sorrow on the faces of the lions you see going we never had so much peace no hunger when that creature holy man angel whatever he was when he was here and he brought Daniel out and they examined him and I think when you get to heaven you will check up and I think that the king was afraid to even touch this holy man and maybe some people said it's accidental the, the lions were not there the lions went uh, they had gone to look for other things and uh, to look for food so when Daniel got there there was no lion there and that's why he came L let's find out whether the lions are there or not and he took all these other men you understand presidents and princes 120 of them the people that helped Darius to manage the whole kingdom he took them all of them he said this one single Daniel is of more value than all these 120 princes and, and, and the presidents and he threw them into the lions then as they were coming the hunger of the lions came back the ferocious wild characteristic instinct came back and he finished all of them and that's what I'm telling you my brothers and sisters when I preach holiness to you it's not because I don't love you how can I manifest my love to you except by giving you the greatest the greatest the highest the most sublime of all subjects in the Bible that's why we are here God will give it to you I know God will give it to you don't mind whatever you have been in the past don't mind whatever your ministry has been in the past today 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 God will do something for you although we are going to pray but more than our prayer Jesus is praying for you and this thing that Job had that Daniel had that Zechariah had you will have and when you finish this day and believe in God and you make this day a line of demarcation between the future and the past you will look at yourself and say am I the same person because the Lord is going to do something and you know the kind of protection that he gave to Daniel and all those other people he will give it to you you understand God doesn't have too many Daniels they are very few and God doesn't have too many holy people too many sanctified people when God takes hold of you and he sanctifies you and he makes you holy you are one of the very few people that God has on earth that's why after this day after the Lord has sanctified you more than yesterday and has given you this thing we're looking at you will not worry about witches and wizards again 
lions, familiars bring something, walk in here, walk in there. You just walk across them like this. Whether they see you or not, if they raise up their hand, they will not be able to bring it down. Let the Lord do something on this special day. And He will do it. Even the people that are outside there, they may not be hearing what we're saying here. God is going to do something for them. And everyone here, the promise of the Lord is that something will happen to you that is beyond your expectation. He's going to do it. I hope you have been blessed by this edition of Pastor Kumui's illustrations. Please don't let this illustration die. Pass it on to others and you could be of help to someone somewhere. Till we meet next week again for another edition of Pastor Kumui's illustrations. Remain blessed.